Hello, my name is Mina Basayas. I'm a support engineer here at Hawkridge. And today I'll be walking you through saving, exporting, and formatting your SOLIDWORKS settings. First, let's discuss what's saved in your SOLIDWORKS settings. So for example, I have a custom toolbar placed in here that doesn't normally come with the interface. Let's say you have a whole bunch of custom toolbars wrapped all around here. Well, all of those will be saved in your SOLIDWORKS settings. Also, if you went ahead and you added either keyboard shortcuts or mouse gestures, all of those will be added to your settings as well. So if you have two computers, one maybe at home, that you want to export your settings to, just so you can work in the same environment, that would be very useful. So how do you save your SOLIDWORKS settings? First thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to close out SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to go to my Windows Start button, go to All Programs, SOLIDWORKS. Now in my case, I have multiple versions installed, so I'm going to go to my latest, SOLIDWORKS 2015, SOLIDWORKS Tools, and then SOLIDWORKS uh, Copy Settings Wizard. It's a pretty simple interface. You either get to Save or Restore. So If I hit Save, click on Next, I get to choose where I want to save my settings. So I'm going to put them on my C drive in a folder called settings. And that's where I'm going to have them. And they're going to be called SW settings. I'm going to hit save. Now you may want to add a date to that uh, just so you don't get confused later. And you get a bunch of options here of things that you want to save out. So do I want to save my system options, my toolbars, keyboard shortcuts, mouse gestures, menu customization, etc, etc. So anyways, I want to save out everything. And it's always good to save everything because you can restore them one by one later. I'm going to click on Finish. SolidWorks settings have been written to that location. Perfect. So let's say I go to my other computer. I'm going to go save that file on a thumb drive or something like that. I'll go to my other computer and I'll basically do the same process. All programs, SOLIDWORKS 2015, SOLIDWORKS tools, copy settings wizard. I'm going to click on restore this time. I'm going to click on next. Now I'll browse to the file, which is this one. That's the right location. And I can basically save every uh, restore everything and I'll hit next and everything will be restored in my case really nothing is going to happen because it's the exact same file so you can restore it as the current user and that's most likely what you're going to be doing you're just going to do it for yourself unless you're an IT person and you want to push it out to everyone in the company but that's uh, that's another video so we're going to click next and it's going to ask me, do I want to create a backup copy of my current settings? So I can choose to say yes. Again, in my case, it's just going to be the exact same thing over and it's done. So now I have a copy of all my settings. Now the issue arises is that sometimes I just want to start from scratch. Sometimes I want to get rid of all of my settings and I want SOLIDWORKS to open as if it's never been opened before. Now the way to do that is to click the start button and if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista you just type regedit. If you're on Windows 8 or uh, Windows XP what you can do is there's a shortcut and you can hit the Windows button and the R button on your keyboard and it'll take you to this little run menu. And then you can do the same thing. You can type regedit. And it'll take you to the exact same window. So the place where you want to navigate to is H key current user. So that's for your profile only. And you want to go down to software. And then you'll want to go down to SolidWorks. So this SolidWorks key is all of your settings. When we did the export using the interface, that basically just took everything here. So what we'll do is, 
we'll right click this and we'll say rename. Now I'm using rename not delete because I may want to have these settings back for later. So I'm going to rename it to something like SolidWorks dash old. So now that SolidWorks can't see this, can't find the SolidWorks key anymore. Next time I go to launch it, it's going to behave as if I've never opened it up before. It'll ask me for a license agreement. It'll ask me if I want to use the help. I'm going to click OK. Now when I open a new file, see, ask me for my templates again. I'll just use ANC Inch. See that all of my customizations are gone. Everything is wiped clean. It's as if it's never been opened before. So this could be a helpful uh, way to troubleshoot if you're having interface problems with buttons disappearing or things like that, or maybe you just want a clean start. Thank you for watching.